All right, Andre, what'd you do? Huh? Yep. I have a camera. There's a right dude, there. dude. <gasps> that was close. Oh, okay, oh no. Yep, paint all over. We are Audrey, Stephen, and Bella, our charismatic Doberman. We're living full time in a vintage Winnebago we named Artemis. It's been eight months of non-stop adventure and we haven't even begun to travel. We've tackled many repairs, many updates, many projects, and many challenges. Steven just sold his car and we paid off our debt on the RV. Stay tuned as we finally wrap up the huge roof project, attempt more DIY, and continue to downsize my business. As we continue working towards the goal of avoiding another Minnesota winter, We'll continue to document the journey. Well, I didn't record this the other day, but uh, I came around and sealed all these windows with some black dye core. Uh, for the most part, I did an all right job, for the most part. You see where I laid it on a little thick in places. Uh, but again, I'm, I'm going for like, I want this to work. I want this to seal right. I did forget a little piece right here, so I'm gonna see if I can get that uh, tube unclogged <laughs> so I can fix this. And I see a couple little spots over in here. Where it's like not connected to the window. It's got a couple holes in it. So. And while I'm at top taping, I'll probably do the same just to make sure that it's sealed correctly. Like I said, I don't want water getting in here. This side I was definitely better at than the other side, but that's how it goes. We're gonna start taping up here so that we can start painting, finally. All right. All right, Audrey, what'd you do? Huh? <laughs> what'd, you, what'd you do to the plastic? I taped it. <laughs> No, but what is, what is this? What, what are these? There's belly. Cover. It's like a tablecloth. Yeah. You cut it into strips? This is like one and you cut it into two. I don't know. The other option is newspaper. Really? The newspapers are like six bucks. Yeah, newspapers are expensive nowadays, right? Yeah, I wasn't going to buy a newspaper just for this project, just to throw it away. Oh. All right, over here on my end. Uh huh. But when I'm good, I shouldn't have to worry about any kind of water intrusion for at least five years. So. Got the driver's side done is a little bit more complicated because of the door and the awning oh we did already start to peel back here that's good yeah but i'll double up the tape right now we're working on the front so we ran out of the tablecloth but our neighbor gave us this sheet of this really thick plastic all right we are wrapped So oh, tomorrow's supposed to be 90. I'm gonna wake up really early and we're gonna work until we can't stand the heat. We're gonna come out in the afternoon and do some more work and see how far we can get. We want at least the sides and the front done so that I can start spacing out what I'm gonna do on top. Good morning. It's way earlier than I get up usually. I'm not a morning person. Looks like all of our tape work held yesterday. Look at that. It's all sticking. You know what that means? I'm gonna get up on this roof. I'm gonna brush everything off. I see we got a little bit of morning dew here. I still gotta clean everything off of uh, denatured alcohol. And then it's paint day. Finally.
We already got quite a bit of condensation up here. So uh, I'm gonna use that to my advantage. I don't have to get a water hose up here or nothing. So I'm gonna give this a quick uh, sweep scrub off so that I can come up here later with some denatured alcohol and uh, wipe all this down as we get rid of, get it ready for paint. Oh God. Hey, wanna help us out? Subscribe to our channel. It's totally free and it would really bring us joy. Then click the bell notification so you know when we have a new video up. Thanks. <laughs> A few footprints from yours truly, but we're gonna come up here and clean and scrub this again with denatured alcohol. Just a good push broom scrubbing. Did this thing a lot of good. I'm out of breath. <laughs> so out of shape. So I woke up this morning and the humidity was like 70 plus percent. And uh, now before we can paint, I have to dry all this roof off. Yeah, the moisture was so much last night that we had, we have a, a, still a pretty wet roof starting to dry out, but it's gonna be a, another hour before I can even be up here because I don't want to drag my boot prints all over it, you know? I'll have to go up there and re-clean it. Climb the ladder. Climb the ladder. Hi, Andre's arm. Oh, that's my arm. You are much braver than I am in We got some denatured alcohol. We're doing the final scrub before I start mixing the Henry's roof coating. So we're gonna start with this front cap, obviously. And then we're gonna decide how brave Audrey wants to be. And <clears throat> depending on how brave she's gonna be is whether or not she's gonna be on the roof or on the sides today. You guys have any idea how excited I am to be getting into this? That bucket has been sitting in that spot for just about two months. I need a drill. What are we doing? I forgot, you just gotta use brute strength for these. You ready for the big reveal? Yeah. Half reveal. Big half reveal. Weird, it's white. Oh, weird. Shocker. Super white. Okay, cool. All right, let's take it back. Hi, Bella. All Bella wants to do is play. Yep. How loud is this going to be? Not very loud. I was just wondering. Really. Earlier than, than we normally rise. Actually, not earlier for me. Yes, 8.30 in the morning. On a Saturday, right? Is that what day we're on? Is it? Yeah. Sounds like it. Sure. Oh, yeah, that loud. Okay. Ready? Here we go. Hey Siri, count down five minutes. Unless you want to keep the lid down it. I can still keep the lid down on it even with that here. Yeah, okay. It actually works all right. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of... This stuff how is really, I imagined it. really thick. It should be. As it should be. All right, let's try that for now. All right, here goes nothing. more than I thought it would. Yeah, it's still like very viscous, right? It's thick so it doesn't spread very much. I just don't want all these paint marks. 
brush marks. Brush marks, which you're gonna have anyway. I mean, if you get it thick enough, it won't. And when this stuff dries, it's like it's like the self-leveling seal, I think, where it's like. Also, this is probably gonna be more than one coat too. You know? Oh yeah, I see that. Because it doesn't. It's like. It's like, it reminds me of Elmer's glue when we were kids. Yeah, it's, got, it's got that same consistency. Sort of, yeah, it's like a little I can't see this uh, light, so it's like, come around and do this. <laughs> Move the cup over where you're about to, so it doesn't drip. Yeah, because I'm having, I'm struggling. I have to reach it. The thing is, anything I can't get from the top, we can just get or from the ladder. We can just get so I'm not like overstretching myself. I'm trying to find like where I can make my balance point here, so I still have like a lot of this. Bella uh, still wants to play, but you know she can't. The beginning of the white. Yeah, I've already splattered uh, a little bit on the windshield. First coat. The front cap. It's got a first coat on it. Look how much better that looks already. There's no more black popping through on it. I got Audrey talked up onto the ladder. What? She's being brave. But to be fair, it's just because she really hates being up here. And I don't blame her. Um, yeah, so we're in the process of cleaning right now. We're both up here. We're both scrubbing everything down. Right now I'm going to be going around all of this stuff. All the stuff that we're going to be uh, trimming up today. And then i got to come back and denature the rest of the roof. And that's going to be fun. Uh, and then after that, you know, we'll start rolling it white. Look how good that looks up there. I freaking love it, man. Ah, uh, that should be good, actually. Thank you. Okay, let's get this AC vent cover off. I'm scrubbing the roof. Hello. Hello. I'm very uncomfortable. Yeah, we're going to be very excited when this is done. Want to help us out? Don't forget to like our videos and subscribe to our channel. And hit that bell notification so you can get notified the next time we make a video. Nope. Ever been this clean? Maybe day one leaving the factory? for the uh, solar panels that were up here. We're no longer in need of that because it was from 1995 and it didn't work anymore. Can the can run a little low?
I got it back here. Hang on a second. I'm digging a leaf out of the paint. I have a camera. There's a right dude. There. Dude. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, don't. I don't want to make it too full. Yeah, I know. I was going to try to help with this, but maybe not. Oh, that did actually. Makes good. Makes for good film. Put the stick back in. Put the lead back on. And then transport this to the roof. Oh, and then. All of that. Our stick. Dude, I love brand new paint rollers. I always have as a kid. Mmm, <laughs> milk. So you want to take it up the back ladder? My, the the ladder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna set it up there. Mmm, roof milk. Oh god, this stuff is so expensive. How great the plastic is dripping. Cool. Let's see what we do today. It's just aiming right into the sun. Mm. The leaves in that bucket. By the time you get up there. Yeah, I'm just sliding this bucket on the roof and going, that is not a clean bucket. Nope, it's not. First of all, this roof is now very warm on my sock feet. All right, so you guys watch me do all this, I guess. Oh my God, it's hot up here. I'm glad we're not making Back up with another another thing of roof milk. Here we go. Alright, most of it's all done. So I lost one more piece of plastic that came up. Let's uh, tape it down and take a look at what it looks like up there. When we turn the AC on, it vents right up here where it was blowing all that. On well, the one where the tape failed. This doesn't look bad. Textured. It's kind of a little clumpy. It's a little tacky yet. We want to give it a couple more hours before I get back up here. Uh, but at the very least, I'd like to get a second coat on the front cap and the sides of the bus today. I think I'll still be able to roll the roof as well. It looks really well. I like. I'm very happy with it. So we're uh, getting ready to put the second coat of paint on, and um, our paint brushes are pretty much just gooped up that uh, rubber coating is really great but once it dries it just becomes a plastic or rubber basically it's like a rubber coating so um i went ahead and we bought so oh god guys look at how amazing this looks got another cup of roof milk up here for ra round two just for one coat i'm really impressed i know we got the shade on it so you can't really see how brilliant this is but man texture on here I'm really happy with the way this turned out I got a couple of light spots there I got to touch up but man yeah this is really cool let's uh let's start code number two
homework is done. Andre is halfway through being done with the last side. Now I'm just gonna bring the big roller and the big jug up. We're gonna have a completely sealed roof tonight, except for this back cap. I'll do this back cap on Monday. We're supposed to get some rain tomorrow night. Well, there it is, guys. It's 34 feet of RV roof, freshly sealed. This is two months of work finally done. I'm so happy. It looks so nice up here. Now all I got left is just to do this back cap. Audrey is inside getting the front ready to be pulled forward. So we'll just start painting the back cap today. Look at that. A little bit sloppy on the line work there, but I can come back over with that black dyke core tube that I have for touch up and it'll be just fine. It's a nice thick rubber coating to seal this roof for years to come. So let's see if I need a ladder to pull the rest of this. Oh, of course. Okay, it is time to get this new hardware mounted. So we're gonna put these vents back up on the roof here. Welcome back up to our nearly finished roof. I don't know if you can tell, but there's actually water pooling. There we go. So it's actually, it's like a coat of wax up here. It's like a, a nice thick coat of rubber. And it's nice and cool under my feet. Before, when I was walking up here, the sun would heat this up so much I have to walk up here with my socks on right now <clears throat> that would be almost unbearable on my foot you see I got the uh, fridge cover already installed you know, working on this back one so I just went to uh, I, I wanted to change out the hardware on this uh, so I just went down to uh, Ace Hardware grabbed some stainless steel stuff um, and I just put it in there this side's silicone down I'm gonna have to come back over here with some die core I'm gonna die core these down a little bit better Maybe put some weight or something on there and just fill that in with die core to get it all t uh, just sealed in nice and tight. Because this side uh, got sealed in, I think, a little bit better. Start with a flat washer, a lock washer, and then a nut. I already got the other side tightened down, so I'm going to get this on and move on to the uh, kitchen vent. Beautiful. All right, I'll bring the other vent up. I'm gonna get this thing on, wiped it out as best as I could. I'm gonna get it mounted over this thing. So this is actually, I took all the hardware off. Let's uh, start putting it back together. Let's not use anything. <clears throat>
back down in Mallard. To the roof. To the roof. Eleven millimeter wrench I'm using for this too, in case you, anyone was wondering. Oh, oh, whoa! I'm excited to be able to cook in the rain again. Just tighten everything in a diagonal pattern. Make sure everything gets as even a torque applied as it can. I mean, we're not building an engine here, but really want to make sure that this isn't going to go flying off on the highway. That's why we get lock washers. We use stainless steel hardware. Oh. This is next. We have a couple other touch up areas to do around there and I got to do some touch ups on that patch right there and along this back cap there's an area. I got a little too close to this tree last time we were pulling out of here and you can kind of see where it gummed that up. So we're going to Probably cut that out and uh, see what it's going to take to patch that up right. Probably just more die core because that's towards the edge after the cap seal. So, hello YouTube. It is an absolute beautiful day in the neighborhood. We uh, just went through a 93 degree day yesterday. It was 90 degrees until 11 o'clock last night. Um, I had to turn the AC off at 9.45 because we have to run the generator for the AC. Um, so it was a pretty hot night last night, but uh, we got some rain at about 1.30, 2 o'clock in the morning and the temperature finally broke. And uh, we were able to cool down. We woke up this morning, it was in the 70s. The high today is only 82. So we went from 93 to 82. And it's a crazy how much difference that 10 degrees makes. Today, uh, while we have this milder temperature because it's going to get hot in the next couple of days, I'm going to finish this back cap. So we're going to go up on top of the roof. I'm going to finish a little bit of die coring that needs to be done up there. Uh, I'm going to tape off this Winnebago sign. We're going to tape off the back here with a little bit more plastic. Um, and then, yeah, we're going to get this all rolled white. Well, it rained last night. We got a lot of pooling. <laughs> on the roof which is nice but my socks are gonna get pretty wet up here so. but i got some denatured alcohol and some dyke core so we're just going to be going over some of the seals on the roof um just to uh you know make sure she's bulletproof you can kind of see there's a couple spots here I just need a little bit of touch up so we're going to dry everything up on this and we're going to touch this up and i'm going to go over all the other seals and if anything needs touched up that's what we're going to do it's so windy up here guys Comes. I've never been any good at doing this. Well, I have a camera in my hand. So we filled in all the way around here. Just get that all nice and sealed in. Both sides. It's like really slippery up here, so I'm walking really carefully. A little bit around there, I sealed up. And same with that, just go over it. It's stainless steel hardware, but I don't want any water penetration at all anywhere on this roof. So I'm just making sure I go above and beyond the uh, extra mile here. I'm gonna call this job done up here. I'm gonna move on to taping off the back cap and getting that ready to go. I'm so sick of setting up ladders the generator running today so I don't know how much uh, recording you guys are gonna hear. We're gonna be taping up that Vectra right there on the roof. <clears throat> I still gotta trim this piece but I got this side all in. We're almost ready for paint. Oh yeah. I have a little damage to address up here. Okay. Pretty stick. So this is what happens when you put Turn a bond down and die core over it and then back into a tree. Um, so I'm gonna take this scraper and we're gonna scrape this down a little bit. It's on the right back corner here. Shame on you tree. 
I'll have to be more cautious of this when I back up in the future. But I'm gonna just clean all this up a little bit and then I'm gonna re-dicor down over it so it's nice and smooth and we don't have to worry about water penetration. There you go. That's one you can't solve with a uh, half a tube of dicor. Uh, I got all that sealed up. Tape it failed. Should be the last of the dicoring I have to do to the roof. Now I can start uh, cleaning off this with denatured alcohol get the last part of this painted and be done with the roof. This is not making my day. Fly. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Started May 1st. Finished like August 1st. Bye. Alright, I'm gonna try and peel the back up first. Yep, paint all over.